we have someone who's operating in the community, who's committing serial offenses. Dr. Stephen Pitt had a unique skill set. Whenever there was a bizarre murder mystery or serial killer on the loose, law enforcement agencies across the country would reach out to the forensic psychiatrist to help solve their case. Each subsequent offense becomes uh, more intoxicating uh, for the offender. And ultimately, it's that intoxication that leads them to become sloppy. The sloppiness leads them to leave behind physical evidence. The physical evidence results in ultimately in their apprehension and arrest. Pitt worked on a number of high-profile cases like the John JonBenet Ramsey and Baseline Killer investigations. He was also a consultant on the Jody Arias trial and Columbine school shooting. We interviewed the Valley Profiler a number of times over the years to gain insight into the mind of a killer. It's um, highly unusual for someone to wake up one morning and say, you know what, today's the day I want to become a serial killer. It, it, it doesn't work that way. So we talk about all sorts of things. Valley attorney Dan Barr has known Pitt for more than 20 years and describes him as extremely smart and passionate about his work. Barr said Pitt was never someone who sought out the spotlight, but was always willing to speak to reporters about crimes that impacted the community. He thought it was important that the public understood the nuances and the intricacies uh, of the story. And so he was quite willing uh, and enthusiastic about spending his time doing so. But it was never out of self-promotion. Listening to Stephen talk about his cases was like listening to a podcast about a mystery case. 